Hi everyone, Nancy again um, with a lesson on the grade book. Today I was informed by a student that they're unable to see their cumulative grade. So this made me uh, do some digging. Initially, the defaults when you look at the grade book shows all of these things um, for the student and for us, which is really showing you the total points, the total points currently uh, graded, what the student achieved out of those total points currently graded and their percentage, which is kind of messy. Um, on top of that, I also realized that sporadically, some students had this column uh, with the, the line through the eyeball, meaning that the students were unable to view their actual items while others were. So this is something we definitely need to be checking as we're looking at our own grade books. But I wanted to show you how to clean this up and to ensure that students are actually able to see their cumulative grade um, at the current moment so that we know whether or not they're passing or failing. So at the top here, first thing you wanna do is go to settings in the grade book. And in this very first tab, personal display options, this is the options for your view as the instructor. And for me, I really just wanna see their, their current grade. I don't wanna see any of the points or the weightings. So I'm gonna uncheck these two boxes and keep just grade scheme ticked. And then uh, nothing else is gonna change on that. I can press save. And then on the next tab here, org unit display options, this is the student's view and the things that the students will see in the grade book. So if I scroll down again, I really just want the students to see their total grade. They don't, if you would like them to see the weighting, you can keep the weighted ticked. Uh, I don't think that we really have a purpose for points to be showing. It just makes the grade book look messy. So I'm going to just untick that to show you what it's gonna look like for them. And then we can scroll down and click save. And then the last column is calculation options. If you click on there, you want to ensure, scroll all the way to the bottom, ensure that you have drop ungraded items ticked. Um, this should be, this is so that they're actually getting an accurate cumulative grade that is not including anything that has, has yet been graded. So this is uh, an accurate way to ensure that they're getting the uh, most up-to-date grade for themselves and click save. Click yes here. And now let's just return to the grade book for a moment and you can see the difference. So in the grade book now, you can see I am just seeing the student's cumulative grade up-to-date for that moment. I also am seeing that all the eyeballs are on so that the students I know can see that column as well. Another really cool feature here is that you can see what the students are seeing in their view by clicking next to the student, the carrot next to the student's name and do preview. And this shows you what the students are seeing on their end. So they will see their their cumulative grade up here at the top. And then of course, all the assignments with your feedback is shown um, as well. I hope again that you find this helpful. Uh, I do suggest that we all get this changed in our active courses and our design courses now so that the students that are currently in class uh, will be able to accurately see their grades. Thanks so much.